Hi, this is Annie of Weekly PCS. The PUBG Continental Series 2 ended last week. We've introduced the PCS2 Asia Champion in the last Weekly PCS. Let's see which teams won the championship in the rest of three regions among the ever-fierce competition. In North America, Sonics won the championship with the biggest score gap among four regions. Whether Shoot to Kill and Oath could catch up with Sonics was the biggest watch point during the third week. Oath won the first two matches on day 5, narrowing the score gap to 30 points. It seemed like they were about to reenact the glory of the charity showdown. However, Sonics won the next two matches, running further away with the point total. On day 6, Sonics won the first match. Even though they were sent to lobby a bit early for the next matches, the score gap was too big to narrow down. 170,000 fans who voted for Sonics will be rewarded for their pick'em choices. Sonics showed stable performance for all three weeks. They won eight chicken dinners in total, one third of the total number of matches. It's a lot. All four members have fragged out showing decent compatibility, but among them, Tiggleton was a top fragger. He won both kill and damage leader, and even overall PCS2 North America peps plus. I'm sure that he made his mark on PUBG Esports fans this time. Although the team kept missing out on global events last year, I think this roster is perfect now. Congratulations, Sonics! The APAC region has shown a lot of competition to the end. The gap between the top six was so close that any team could win the championship. Meanwhile, there was a total point and kill point tie. Divine, who had been in first place all the time, seemed to struggle in the third week. Except for the last match of day 5 where they won the chicken dinner, they barely scored any points. In the meantime, many teams were pulling up the rankings, especially Fury who still haven't won the chicken dinner yet, but continued to stay at the top chasing real tight. And the last match started. This was the most anticipated match in PCS2 for sure. Early in the match, Divine lost the battle against Magic Esports and finished 13th without a single kill. I think I've seen this scene somewhere. It must have been a heartbreaking moment for 150,000 fans who voted for Divine. And then, the opportunity came for Fury, as Briam United Esports had already lost two players and Battle Arena Elites had been eliminated. All they needed was 5 points, so Fury went hunting for kill points. And finally, they've reached 188 points. They needed only one point to win the championship. But X Stadium made a push toward Juxi, the last man standing, and the score ended in a tie. In PUBG Esports, if the total score and the kill point are tied, we compare the tied team's best performing match based on match points. Fury's highest score was 16 points, Divine's highest score was 26 points, so Divine is leading the way here to win the championship. Fury was this close to winning the no-win championship, but it didn't come true. Divine slowed down a bit in the third week, but they showed they could win the championship as they scored up for two weeks. Congratulations on your victory, Divine! You've shown the Vietnamese spirit. In the third week of Europe, the traditional teams had gone wild. Team Liquid, with a new player clip, toppled the face clan by scoring 60 points on day 5. They tend to struggle in the later phase from previous PCS events, but for PCS 2, they were making a last-minute sprint for the finish line. TSM, who had shown a huge reversal in PCS 1, also won a 15-kill chicken dinner, showing their upward trend. On the other hand, FaZe Clan showed signs of slowing down, scoring only 15 points. Maybe it was because it was Saturday? Day 6 started, and it was Sunday. Team Liquid was the first team to be eliminated in the first match, and the point gap was only one point. In the following match, Team Liquid and FaZe Clan were the last two teams. In a 2v3 situation, Ibiza tried to turn the tables by knocking Gustav down, but in the end, the FaZe Clan won this match and regained the top spot. Taking advantage of this momentum, FaZe Clan won a 10 kills chicken dinner in the next match and finally won the championship. Congratulations FaZe Clan for winning the championship on Sunday. I must shout out, it was FaZe Sunday!
Thanks to all 64 teams who've shown amazing performances for the last three weeks. We loved watching every team compete. Thank you for the crazy heart-pounding games. Those who voted for Pick'em Challenge, it's time to get a reward. Check the in-game esports tab and claim your reward. You can buy items from esports shop with EPs, so don't forget to use your point and get PCS2 exclusive items. PCS2 is over, but we'll be back with PUBG Continental Series 3 soon. We still have some time left before PCS3, but during that time, we'll have the qualifiers and the regional leagues worldwide, so please keep an eye on PUBG Esports. See you later on November! I'll be back with the next weekly PCS. Until then, bye!